This is the best defense to use in college football 25. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride when I drive in it. It shuts down the run. It's instant sacks. And interceptions all game. So if you want to see what overpowered defense I'm using results like this, stick around after the intro. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snipping out the College Football 25 cheese yet again. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys it's probably the most sack-heavy, turnover-heavy defense in the entire game. This is definitely probably my favorite defense to use right now. But before I do, if you guys want me to continue to do defensive videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel. And if you guys need more help on defense, I recently finished my defensive ebook. Check that out. Links in the description below as well as the top pinned comment. Now, this was the very first game that I played in College College Football 25. I've been sitting on it for about a week because I wanted to wait till my defensive ebook is done. Uh, but yeah, this is the very first game. I just had to pick my favorite team, the Penn State Nittany Lions. If you guys don't know, I'm a local Philly guy. We support all of our local teams. But I don't know how often I'm going to use Penn State based on the fact that I really hate the offensive playbook that they have. As I really didn't even look into the playbooks until I started the game. As we go three and out on our very first drive and lose five yards in the process. <laughs> We messed up the kick meter because this is our first game. We weren't used to it. So I give my opponent a really good field position. But luckily, when I get to defense, one of the first formations I see is one of my favorite formations from last year in Madden, and that's the big nickel over G. As far as my favorite plays in this formation, I would say for blitzing and for pass defense, the SS Blitz 3 is definitely my favorite. Although you can also use the SS Blitz 2, which I'll show you guys later in the video. And my favorite run defense slash deep cover defense would be the cover four palms. I'm not going to go over the cover four palms today, though, because I already went over a full breakdown of how good cover four is in practice mode so if you guys missed out i have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video so you guys can check that out now one of the best things about this blitz is the super easy setup is all you have to do is pinch the defensive line which is d-pad to the left and down and you can see i have it set up before i even break the huddle now with this defensive alignment you can see how it's going to be difficult to run inside but it also is very important when it comes to setting up the blitz as all i have to do is use the three-rack hook and bring him down over the center but on this first play i accidentally grabbed the quarter flat so since i don't want to mess up the coverage i I try to switch over to the three rack hook and bring it down over the center until these little blue dots pop up above my head as these are the pass rush bars letting me know that the linemen are targeting me as I want to try to draw their attention so that the cornerback can get in free. And even though I didn't set that up perfectly, you can see the cornerback still comes in free off the edge before my opponent gets the ball out. And if he would have threw it on target, I would have had an interception. One of the downsides of the pinched alignment, though, is you don't have outside run containment to the left side. Although this can be easily solved if I motion out the quarter flat, but I didn't do that on this play. And my opponent figures out on the very next play is he runs a stretch run to that side as he has one of the best running backs in the game to get to a third and short on the very next play. I expect them to run again, so I picked my favorite run defense in the cover for quarters as these safeties will drop down and play the run as long as you don't guess pass. But I'm also going to hard flat so that I can override the matching principles and cover the flats as good as possible since he only needs four yards. And on the very next play, that must work gotcha, bitch. as he tries to test my user and we get an interception this time. Back on offense, though, we're still going backwards to start the next drive before we find a really good play with a really good route in the PA post dig shot as this route here should get open against just about any defense man or zone and we complete a first down on third and long in the next two series before we finally decide to start playing it smart and hit our running back underneath who goes for a big gain before going right back to him with a stretch run to score our first touchdown of college football 25 although we still don't have that kick meter figured out Another benefit that I mentioned earlier is that you can run this blitz at a cover two zone as well. And cover two zone is actually pretty good coverage this year, especially a matching coverage like this one with the soft squats. As we do the exact same setup and get the exact same results before forcing a second and long and going back to the SS blitz three, since this is a slightly better defense when it comes to deep coverage. As we get a sack on the very next play to knock him back to third and 23, 
One of the downsides of cover three mats though is that I do have to cover the middle of the field myself as we don't do a very good job and we give up a first down on third and long anyway. But I want to show one of the things that makes this defense so unique is he calls a verticals play which is typically very good against cover three as this receiver will typically get open up the cover three seam. But in this particular defense, these seam flats won't just do nothing and get beat as they'll actually man match routes up the seam to naturally guard what's probably the biggest weakness of cover three defenses. As he runs the exact same verticals play on back to back plays and you can see how close the defender is to getting an interception as he just barely misses to get him to a first and goal. Before I switch over to a 4-4 split thinking the heavier defense will help me out in run support and he scores on the very next play. Damn it! But hey at least he's new to the kick meter too. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> Back on offense, we go to the well one too many times and it is bone dry as we essentially give up a pick six since we gave him such good starting field position that he scores on the very next play right in front of my user. Before going for the two point conversion and we're all over that. How about new? And there's not a lot of time left in the half so I'm pushing the ball down the field in a hurry trying to get this lead back before I throw an interception on the very next play and luckily he gets a pretty good return to about midfield as he decides to try to make something happen with only two seconds left it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. But instead, we're going the other way for a pick six. That's just too easy. When he gets the ball back, he tries to pass one more time, but the pressure gets in and he can't make a good throw. So he decides to go back to running the football, either with the running back or scrambling with the quarterback every time he decides to drop back to pass, as he really can't complete a single pass against his defense. And that's because cover three match really has the best matching principles when it comes to pass defense as he's pretty much getting double teamed up the seam every single time. He tries to go back to that same cover three concept that worked earlier but you can see the pressure gets in once again as he decides to go for it on fourth and ten and he has no choice but to force it into my user. The only thing good about the Penn State playbook is it does have a lot of pistol formation so I try the triple option on the very next play and this running back is almost impossible to tackle as we get all the way down the field into the red zone before I hit the running back in the flats and almost score and I switch over to the split T as this looks like the new quarterback sneak as we punch it in with a lineman. Back on defense, my opponent goes back to the most successful play that he's had in the verticals play from the two tight ends. But you can see this time that the seam flat is all over it, forcing him to hold the ball and take another sack. He tries again on the next play and it looks like he thinks he has a window, but this time it's double covered once again. And we get another interception that probably should have been a pick six as we get all the way back to the one yard line before getting tackled inches short from the end zone, allowing me to go right back to that same wing T play. Oh and score what looks like a tight end this time. And that's looking like ball game, except he almost goes to the house on the very next play as he beats my user once again with an out of reach animation. As it feels like all of his offense has come with me being inches behind on just about every single time he's had a successful play. Now inside the red zone, we switch over to cover four to get a stop on the very next run play before he switches over to a screen that I totally didn't see coming. And he tries for two once again, but... <laughs> Your ass down. And now I need a little bit of offense to put this game away, but I haven't been able to do that all day as I've really been winning this game based off of my defense before we get a quick three and out and another terrible punt that gives him field position inside the 40. But luckily this defense is playing lights out as this blitzing cornerback has enough awareness to drop back on the screen and completely blow it up. Before he tries to test my cover three deep defense one more time gotcha, bitch. and we get another interception that we almost take back for another pick six but essentially once again shortens the field enough that we can score again from this distance as like I said my defense really won me this game as the offense really didn't do much. Other than a couple of short touchdown runs, I really feel like Penn State's playbook is terrible. And my opponent goes down swinging as he takes two more sacks on the final drive before throwing a game-ending interception. And you can see that this defense was lights out as we get a total of five sacks and seven interceptions because the one to two point conversion didn't count. So go ahead and give this defense a try and let me know what you guys think in the comments section. If you want to see more defense and tip videos, I'll have them popping up on screen. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.